Hello everyone, welcome to Art and Design. My name is Torke and in this video we're gonna go to Hawaii or Iceland or Germany. Well, we can't actually go there, but uh, you saw the thumbnail. We're gonna pretend to, so <laughs> let's check it out. All right, so the first step is to find an image of a place where you want to go. Uh, I picked, uh, I think this is Hawaii, maybe? It's a beach, a palm trees. We have black beaches and like almost no trees in Iceland. So this is heaven to me. Obviously I can't go there now. So uh, I'm gonna make myself look like I am at this place. So in order to do that, I need a picture of myself sort of looking like I'm enjoying myself at the beach. So to do that, I'm simply going to tap on this button right here, the wrench icon and I'm going to take a photo, then I'm gonna swap the camera like so, and then simply I'm going to take a picture of myself, looking like I'm enjoying myself at the beach. So uh, let's uh, do this right. All right, so I guess that'll do. Um, let's put on the glasses again. Okay, so we have me in the picture right here, and there's one thing that I'm noticing is that this picture is very low resolution. So I'm not sure how accurately we're able to get the outlines, but let's make do with what we have. So let's start by cutting out the outlines. Now, Procreate has a few tools to do that. We have automatic selection tool and freehand in this version of Procreate. This might change in the future. I hope it does because let me show you what happens when I use the automatic selection tool. Um, and let's just pull it back a little bit. So. We make a selection and then we drag it to the left while holding it down. And here we can see the selection boundaries. And we can, like right away, we can see it's starting to uh, select parts of the hair. And we don't want that. So you know, let's try to sort of manually add to this. And you can do this. You just tap and drag, tap and drag, tap and drag, tap and drag. Oh, too much. Tap and drag. Sort of like that. These, these, these. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here and select the rest manually. I'm gonna swap over to freehand. And now we're gonna continue with the selection process simply by adding to the selection. So I've added this to the selection. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this. And this is the beautiful thing about the selection tool in Procreate. You can just sort of go between selecting polygons like so and actually drawing it in like so. So this looks pretty clean here. Pretty clean, pretty clean. I might need to add this back. So right now I am selecting the outside boundaries. So now I've got a rough selection of the actual outer boundaries, the background. I'm just gonna select the outside like so. And now pretty much I've selected everything that is not me. And now we could do a few things. Uh, I could go in here and uh, remove from selection, just toggle this button right here and actually start removing these strands of hair right here. Just adding them back uh, just to make things a little bit better, but I think this is good like it is right now. So now we can do a few things. We could either erase this background and that means we can't get it back. So uh, that's a destructive process, but we can do this non-destructively and that's simply done by tapping on layer and going into mask. And then we tap on the layer here and invert that mask. So this is a non-destructive way masking out the background. So now we have all of the information still in this layer, but we can retrieve it whenever we want to. So if we want to get those strands of hair more detailed, we can simply go and tap on the mask right here. Make sure we have white selected. If you want to add to it, just select a nice brush. And we just paint in anything we want to add. So make this look a little bit more realistic. Yeah, this looks much better. All right, so that actually looks pretty good. Now I see a few things that might give it away. 
So we have some reflection in the sunglasses right here. We might want to take care of them. And yeah, the color of the skin and sort of the surrounding is not balanced enough. Like this doesn't look like it's from the same picture, although it is fairly close. But I do think we can get the color a little bit better. And also we have the shoulder to take care of here. It just cuts off. So let's do that first. So just tap on the image right here. I'm just going to move it. We flip it. Looks like it makes more sense like this, I think. Okay, so I'm actually just going to liquefy this down. So I've gone to the liquefy, turn down the distortion, and I'm just going to drag it down like so. Pretty good. Now, I might want to take care of the reflection in the glasses. A few things we could do. We could simply uh, select a soft brush. Uh, those can be accessed in the airbrush. So just going to smudge this out. So using the smudge tool, just going to take care of the reflections by smudging this out like so. Now this might not work with your image. No, it can really, really depend on the image that you're working with. If you have black shades, this might be easier. If you have um, clear glasses, this might be a little bit more tricky. Okay, it's not perfect. <laughs> Definitely not perfect, but uh, let's try one thing. I'm going to duplicate this layer, the background layer. I'm going to put it on the top. And now I'm going to flip it. And I'm just going to create a little reflection in the glasses. So I'm going to position it sort of where the glasses are. If you want more control, you can tap on the layer with two fingers like that and then slide it across. And that means you're adjusting the opacity. So just tap with two fingers on the layer and then slide your finger across in order to decrease the opacity. So now we can see through it. And this looks pretty good. We have sort of the palm leaf in the shades there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask on this layer right now. I'm going to invert this mask. So now I'm going to paint in with white on the mask. Just going to select Dr. Shading for this. I'm just going to start painting on the mask. And just like magic, we see the palm leaves starting to appear like reflections on the glass. All right, to make this look a little bit more believable, I'm going to change the blend mode to something like screen. Screen looks pretty good. I'm thinking about moving just a little bit towards the center, something like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to match the color in the scene behind us to the face right here. Okay, so to match the color of the scene, what we're going to do is we're going to select the picture right here uh, of the face, and then we're going to go into color balance. And this is where we can balance cyan versus red, or magenta versus green, or yellow versus blue. You sort of have to do this by eye. There's no white balance feature in Procreate at the moment, so you just sort of have to uh, play around with these in order to get the desired outcome. So I'm feeling like a little bit of the blueness from the ocean here. So blue, cyan colors coming from the ocean, but also like the warm sun. So I want a little bit red, just a little bit red, but also a little bit, a little bit blue. I'm not going to go too green because it just looks like I'm sick. I don't know how this comes out on camera, but feel like this is it's pretty good actually so there we go we pretty much replace the background of an image we can now be in whatever place we want to and now you can prank your friends on social media saying that you're in bahamas or hawaii or iceland or wherever you want to be and make it actually look like you are there i'll probably say the trickiest part about this is selecting the outlines it can be very tricky depending on the image that you have but uh, i think this worked out pretty well
if you want to see more videos like this and if you want to see anything specific and do let me know uh, some feedback in the comments down below what would you like to see next subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like the video if you liked it and don't forget to check out today's sponsor which is skillshare now skillshare is an online learning community that offers its members access to a huge list of classes for drawing composition illustration and so much more these lessons can help you stay inspired express yourself and introduce you to a community of millions lately i've been working on my portrait drawing skills so I started drawing a simple portrait every day while applying something new that I've learned. And on that note, I started following along to a class called Painting Light and Shadow, the Basics of Portraits and Characters by Gabriel Bricky. Now, Gabriel's class is helping me getting to grips with anatomy of the face and how light affects the geometry of the facial features. Now, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow along with your creativity uh, wherever it takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of the premium membership so you can go and explore your creativity so go ahead and check that out and thank you for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye